Hey guys, Chris here for GQ37, and this is Project 350Z. I recently picked up an enthusiast model 2006 RevUp 6-speed manual Z in very hurt condition. It's been neglected, it needs a lot. Mainly on the outside, but I'm gonna be starting on the inside, moving outward, and yeah, I'll address that bumper as well. Really excited about this project. I'll be doing some videos and showing what I'm doing as I do it in hopes that it's helpful to somebody out there that's restoring or fixing some issues in their Z as well. So buckle up and join me for some more videos starting right now. What's up guys, Chris here for GQ37. Today I am uh, trying to get quite a few things done on the Z, most of them in the door panel here. Uh, so I'm going to show how to take the door panel off, it's super easy, because uh, that's going to be the first step to doing any of these things that we're going to do. I'm going to replace my broken uh, vent here, and also going to wrap it. But because this is such a high traffic area, uh, with fingernails uh, gouging it every time you open the door. I decided I'm going to go ahead and wrap that. I think it'll hold up better. It's not doing too bad, but you see that I have that auto-close feature and it's doing slowly. The door catch just isn't holding anymore. That's an easy fix. It's something you can do for free. I showed how to do that on one of my previous videos when I was fixing up the FX35. Um, so if you want to check out how to do that, you can check in the upper right corner of the screen. And uh, there's a video on how to do that. I'm going to do the same procedure, but I'll still show how to get to that uh, with this one as well. So here we go. All right. So three things you're going to need is 10 millimeter socket with some extension, uh, especially on the passenger side. You really need the uh, extension getting in the uh, door handle pull. Um, this one is not as bad, but... Uh, you're going to want that. You don't necessarily need this much extension, but it's what I got. You're going to want a small screwdriver for those electrical connectors to be able to squeeze those in. And then you're going to want some plastic trim remover tools. Find the best access point. There we go. Pop that up. And then that small screwdriver. Just going to push in and pull that one out. Same thing on this side over here. There we go. There's that. Now for painting this, I'm going to have to, to take these out. These are actually kind of a pain. Um, it helps to have like four plastic trim remover tools and, and back working them out because you'll get one side out and you start working on the other side and then this side tries to uh, snap back in. So that's kind of a pain. I'll take those out in a little bit. But that's what it is. You've got four of these little release clips. You have to gently pry out because they're very brittle. They will break very easily. You don't want that. So we'll work on that in a little bit. I'm going to continue working on the door. So your first uh, 10 millimeter uh, bolt is right there. So I'm going to go ahead and work on that. Again, more extension than I need, but it worked and came in handy on the passenger side. Right, there's that one. Then you've got one behind here, if I can show you. You've got this little pole here, plastic trim remover tool. You pry that, pop it out. And then you've got another one. Wait, well, you're supposed to have one in there. It's not there. <laughs> Normally, there is another 10 millimeter uh, bolt in there. You see that hole? That's where it's supposed to go, and the other reason you need some extension on your socket. However, whoever has taken this door off in the past did not put it back. All right, so just even, kind of even pressure. Space it out. They're just clips, and it hangs on. This one was barely on. Doesn't give me warm, fuzzy feelings um, at all. And... Then you've got some connectors in here. Um, you've got the door lock and door handle connectors that you've got to, and I can't hold the phone and do this, um, but I'll try to show you real quick. You've got these little balls here. 
So you've got to pull up through that, and uh, and then you've got another one for the door handle. So it's kind of a push and pull. There we go. There's one. And just be mindful of how they go in there so that you can get them back. I know I'm upside down with you guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know how else to show you, but I need my other hand now. And then you're going to disconnect um, right there, that plastic, that wire connector, and then you'll be free. All right, needed my other hand there. Just disconnected that and pulled up on this little hook. And that door is free. All right, four screws here. And per usual, there's a broken tab. I'm replacing that vent. Not a big deal. It was already broken. But in order to get this out, you have to take this out too. There it goes. All right. So that's what we're replacing right there. I got another one off of eBay. All right, I'm going to take this in. I'm going to vinyl wrap my new one. And, uh, and this is what it's going to look like. And boom, there it is, vinyl wrapped. Um, this one was brand new, so I didn't take you through the process of, of sanding all the stuff off. Um, I just went over it. But I'm going to go ahead and put this in the door, and I will show you the vinyl wrap process on my passenger side. All right, so here we are. We've got the passenger side and then the driver's side that I already wrapped. So I'm going to start working off the rest of this Plasti Dip primer. So of course it was scratched and you saw the gray scratches showing through the black. But if you keep working it, lo and behold you have black ABS plastic underneath the gray primer. So what we have here is Nissan took black ABS plastic, primered it, and then painted it black. I don't know why, but that's what they did. So yeah, you could just rub all this off. Once you get it started, it does rub off. It's a bit tedious, but it does come off, and you could just leave it that way. If you sand it, however, it does scratch up pretty easily. Um, I just decided to wrap it in the carbon fiber because I was this far committed already. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this and skip to that part. All right, now to make things a little bit easier, I'm going to go ahead and pull the vent portion out of this casing. You squeeze those little side metal tabs really hard and pull it out and now I can get the rest of it and that'll make it a lot easier for tucking the vinyl underneath and doing a clean job. All right and vinyl time. This is just some gloss carbon fiber 3M vinyl I got off Amazon. I'll put a link in the description. I figured if I'm going to use any real carbon fiber at any time in the interior I might as well use the gloss so it'll match a little better. Now I'm just heating it up with a heat gun an expensive heat gun you can get from Harbor Freight. I'll put a link in the description for that as well, or one like it. And I'm just kind of sizing it up here. I cut a piece for the general area, um, but nothing specific because you're going to have to trim it no matter what. So I warmed it up just a little bit to make it a little more pliable to get started. We'll be using the heat a lot. It makes a huge difference in vinyl. If you don't have a heat gun, honestly, you might as well not even bother. So again, it's not a big expense, but you really need one to do a good job. So now I'm just laying it in there as close to the uh, center ring edge as I can get. I'm going to do this in two pieces. The outer ring around the vent is going to be a whole other piece. So I'm not going to even try to wrap that in one piece. I don't think it would hold up. So uh, again, here just heating it so that I can smooth it out, get the wrinkles out, and uh, make the, the curves around the corners. I'm also heating it up to stretch it a little bit. Um, so that I've got enough overlap on each side. I could have cut a bigger piece. I didn't. Um, I, yeah, this is this is going to work, but uh, ideally I would have made it a little bit longer uh, on each side. But uh, again, the heat allows you to stretch it a bit, so that's what I'm doing here, and uh, just smoothing it out, getting those bubbles out. Heat makes such a huge difference. So just continuing to work this edge here, I'm going to finally start making the turn now that I've got the center uh, pretty smooth. I'm going to start folding it over and, uh, and trimming. 
I am definitely not an expert vinyl wrapper by any means. I am still definitely a novice. I've just tinkered with interior pieces like this. I would not attempt to wrap a car or anything thinking that I am good enough to do that. This stuff is a lot harder than it looks. Um, but this is definitely something that you can do as a DIYer as long as you have a little bit of patience and a heat gun. Uh, so now I'm just cutting the edges as, uh, as I need to go around the tab and you know you don't want anything too long you just need it long enough that it will stick to the edge and can be tucked in you don't need a whole lot of excess so I'm just cutting that excess and cutting around uh, the tab here for the the screw mount to go back in the door so and I'm slicing the, the sides too so it can lay a little bit on top of that mount and then I'm just getting rid of the excess here now just hitting it with a little bit of heat again and gonna do the same thing to the other side and the bottom just working my way around. Again here just cutting my way around that tab to make room for it so that I can fold it on either side of it and just make sure it's nice and tight and gonna stay. Alright I'm finishing up this edge here and tucking it under. I didn't realize that my camera shuts off here in a minute and jumps. Um, so I finished that bottom edge and I cleaned up the top rim uh, off camera apparently <laughs> before I started wrapping the other piece. So I hate that you guys didn't get to see that, but I took a big piece uh, all the way across the top um, of where I had started the bottom vinyl and went over that hump in one sheet, wrapped it around, and then I cut it. Uh, so that it would it would tuck under and uh, I, I thought all that was recording and didn't realize until I sat here in the editing room That it was not on here and I apologize about that um, But I did just do another rectangle, but the important thing uh, I tried to show on camera But again, I didn't record was that you want to make sure that if you're doing carbon fiber that the the weaving uh, the woven whatever <laughs> the, the uh, material that is all going the same direction uh, you want to make sure that it's it's flowing especially since you're doing two pieces like this that it kind of lines up you don't want one going one way and one another it just won't look natural at all and will be very obvious so you just want it to kind of blend so here I'm just doing the same thing that I did around, um, on the other bottom is I'm just cutting around these tabs and making sure there's enough overhang that I can tuck it underneath and that, that it will lay smoothly and it's kind of back and forth with heat and uh, and just f uh, smoothing it with my fingers and then cutting around the edges uh, to make sure it's going to wrap around these little uh, plastic inserts and uh, that, that hold the, the vent in when we clip it back in. So that's the big thing is I'm just making sure it's really smooth and tucked in there so that when I slide that vent back through the little capsule there that it doesn't pull up any of the vinyl. All right, and that is uh, smoothing out, and that's pretty much it for that. I'm gonna, I'm just making sure everything's smooth here, and I'm gonna go ahead and slide the vent back in, and uh, and make sure it's not pulling up any of the areas. And this, just make sure you line up the sides, uh, those little clips, and then it literally just pushes back in, and it'll click. So I just want to uh, reiterate that I um, am not a vinyl wizard. Um, this project probably took me about 30 minutes of just tinkering with it and getting it till I was happy with it. I know I jumped around with editing here uh, to be cautious and respectful of your time because nobody wants to sit here and watch this for 30 minutes. But uh, I just wanted you to know that, you know, even if you haven't done this before, this is probably my fourth or fifth little vinyl project something like this over the years um, but I'm, I'm pleased with how it turned out and so I hope that's helpful to somebody out there that's considering doing this you can do it just be patient with it and uh, and take your time and use a heat gun <laughs> that makes a big difference so uh, let's put it back in the car all right so I put the door in off camera it's this the opposite of what you did yeah I also painted those door um, armrest window switches so that'll be a separate video if you want to see that upper right corner of your screen can click that video but uh, all in all um, I'm really happy with how it turned out yep there's the passenger one too and there's our carbon fiber door vent so uh, hopefully this was helpful to some of you if so please leave a like comment subscribe lots more Z videos coming your way I'll see you guys next time